Hi there, once again, this is uh, Johnny Miller from Point Blank Online Music School in London. I'm here to show you uh, even more cool tricks with Ableton Live 8 and samples and sounds from clickproduce.com. Uh, this week I'm looking at uh, getting random with some clicks and get it going all minimal. And uh, I've got a really nice library here called Aquasonica. Uh, big library this, contains loads and loads of stuff. Loads of interesting little loops, for instance, there's a, there's a folder of loops with no kick drum. They're really, really useful for production. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do is load up, um, go to the one shots and the drum one shots. Remember, one shots are just single sounds, one single sample. Um, and in the clicks folder, I'm going to show you what you can do with some of these little odd noises, clicks and pops that you get in libraries like Aquasonica. I'm going to go to the live browser and a live device browser and just load up uh, an instance of Simpler onto this MIDI track here. And Simpler is just Ableton Live Simple Sampler. It just plays one sample at any one time and uh, it's nice and easy to get to know. I'm going to go back to the sound library now, back to my click folder. And I'm just going to pick up, uh, yeah, let's use this one, number six. It's going to pick that up and drag it down into Simpler. I'm going to create a MIDI clip just by double clicking into an empty clip slot. And now if I just drag this up and press the monitor function, I've got that click spanned across the keyboard. Now I've got one bar clip here and I'm just going to draw in a series of notes just on C3. And for this I'm going to switch over to draw mode by hitting Command B on my keyboard and just draw a line of these notes. There we go. So I've got 16 notes on C3 now. Let's play this clip. And at the moment, it doesn't sound like too much at the moment, but what we're going to do is randomize those clicks. And uh, for this, just disarm that. Okay, for this, I'm going to go back to the live browser a devices browser, go into MIDI effects and just load up an instance of random. And random's one of the cool MIDI effects that we have in Ableton. MIDI effects uh, affect the MIDI data going from the clip into the instrument as opposed to an audio effect which affects the sound coming out of an instrument. So they're kind of cool. They're interesting to work with. You get some really interesting results with them. So what this random device is going to do is as these 16th notes play, as these individual notes play, the random device will randomize them so we get different pitches. If I just turn up the chance to about 80 and uh, bring the scale up to about 7 or 8, doesn't need to go too far. And then this sign function here, if I put it on buy, that means we're going to get random notes playing above and below the original pitch. Now if I just press play now, we're hearing the same sound, click six, but as you can see, the random device is randomizing the notes, playing some that are higher than the original pitch and some that are lower than the original pitch. And we get this nice kind of clicky, minimal texture. So let's add a beat to this. Let's go back to the browser, the Aquasonic library. And I'm gonna go all the way back up to um, drum loops. Uh, let's just preview some of these. And uh, these are all real nice. I'm also quickly just going to up the tempo. Let's take that up to 128. So what, the drum beat you can hear now, that's just Ableton previewing these loops. As I just click on them in my browser. And it's a nice way of kind of deciding which beat you want to go with. That's nice, that's got a nice little swing to it. Let's load that one in. Let's close the browser down quickly. Okay, so there I've got my drum beat and my little minimal clicks. And that could be a nice little starter, a nice little bass for my track. I'm just gonna process those clicks just lastly, with some audio effects. Let's turn that beat off for a second. And 
I'm just going to load up a reverb device on here. This is one of the kind of standard effects that you apply to percussion sounds, a little special effects, quite a low wet dry. Bring that decay time up. Just so we get a nice kind of ambient feel on those clicks. Okay, cool. So nice and quick and easy, random device, randomizing the single sample that I've got coming out of this simpler device um, with a bit of reverb on it and a nice well-chosen beat um, from my loop library. And I've got the little basis for a track. Okay, cool. So next week, I'll be showing you some more little tricks with Ableton and some loops and samples. And uh, don't forget, you can learn some more skills like this. Uh, check out www.pointblankonline.net. And uh, I'll see you next week. Peace.